Have you ever looked into your wardrobe and thought, there's nothing to wear? Even though your wardrobe is full of clothes. I've definitely been there and I'm glad that I'll never be there again because of one simple fundamental rule. Hi everyone, my name's Peter and today I'm going to give you clothing advice that won't break the bank and help you in the long run. If you're like me, you really like clothes and sometimes you'll buy something that you don't really need and you'll stuff it away in your wardrobe only to find it a year later in its tomb wondering where it came from. So then, what can you do to fix your wardrobe and dress well without emptying your pockets? Let's firstly go back to the thought of I have nothing in my wardrobe to wear even though it's full of clothes. So obviously, I do have clothes. I just don't have clothes that I want to wear. And here's some reason why that's the case. Number one, all of my outfits were bought at Fort Outfits, meaning that they don't mix and match. Therefore, my wardrobe is rigid. Number two is that the trend has now ended. And this is the problem with fast fashion. The lifespan of your clothes will outlast the lifespan of the trend, meaning that you have generations of trends just wasted there in your wardrobe. Number three is that I bought it in a moment because I thought it was cool and I never got around to wearing it and I will never wear it. The list goes on, but at the very core of it, you just don't see any clothes that you want to wear. And this is because clothing and fashion is an art. It's a way to represent yourself. So when you see something in the wardrobe that you don't want to wear, it's because it doesn't relate to you anymore. And to overcome this issue and build a wardrobe that will last, you just have to follow a simple fundamental rule. And that's to focus building your wardrobe around strong, good looking essentials. And the basics are usually the same for everyone. A white t-shirt, pair of jeans, and a pair of trainers. At this point, you're thinking that I'm pointing out something very obvious. And it's true, it is something very obvious. But what people don't realize is that your basics don't just have to be basics. Your basics can look good. You can dress well with just basics. To dress well with just basics, start thinking about your body shape and what you think would look good with that body shape. For example, this white t-shirt is just a basic, but not just any old basic, it's an oversized white t-shirt. That makes it different from a slim fit white t-shirt, a relaxed fit white t-shirt, and just a standard fit white t-shirt. And then you have to start thinking about the length of the arms and the length where it cuts off on your waist. These are little details that you have to consider when buying basics to be able to build a very strong core to your wardrobe. These small details really do enhance your outfit and when you're on a budget, they will definitely make a difference. Another reason why you would want to build a strong core foundations of essentials for your wardrobe is because you can then mix and match clothes very easily. And when I'm talking about basics and different shapes and sizes that you can wear based on your body type, it's also down to your preference as well. For example, compare these two outfits, they both follow the same fundamentals, but they follow different shapes and sizes. Whichever you prefer is up to you, but it's just an example to show you that you should start thinking about the fits and sizes of the essentials you want to buy for yourself. And once you have built that solid foundation of essential clothing for your wardrobe, layering more interesting items on top of them will be very easy since the basics are just basics. And also remember that fashion and clothes are an art form. It's a way for you to express yourself. So what you think looks good, just wear it because you should do you. For example, for me, comfort ranks very high on my list of priorities. So to dress well on a budget, or even if you're not on a budget, remember that basics just don't have to be basics. The essentials can look good on you. Focus on what looks good on you. Focus on the shapes, the sizes, the little details which enhance your outfit. This way, you'll be able to rebuild your wardrobe in a way that will make it efficient and cost effective in the long run. Please leave a like on the video if you found this video helpful since it will help the channel to grow. And I've linked down below some basics which I recommend. Let me know what you think are some basics that everyone should have in their wardrobe or start thinking about putting into their wardrobe. For example, some people swear by darn tough socks, but I just personally can't justify $25 socks. Please subscribe if you like the video because I think that I have one of the worst ratios on YouTube and I really want to hit 100 subs before July. And as always, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.